In ForeFlight Mobile 7.1, we make a significant leap forward to offer a more complete set of weather guidance that you can use for your long and near-term pre-flight planning. We've added new products to the mix, and we've expanded the temporal and spatial resolution of some of the existing imagery by adding more forecast hours and altitudes for some collections. It's a set of imagery that is now unparalleled by any other flight planning app and will only continue to improve with time. Let's jump right in and take a look at what we've done to improve the ForeFlight imagery. When you open ForeFlight and tap on the imagery page, you'll immediately notice that the number of USA collections on the left side has nearly doubled. Given all the new selections that are now available, we wanted to organize them in a way that is useful to most customers. So the collections are no longer in alphabetical order like they were in the previous version of ForeFlight Mobile. While there is no perfect way to order these collections to meet every customer's needs, we implemented an order that we think you'll find useful. Here's what we were thinking. Picture a pre-flight briefing as a funnel with large-scale features at the top of the funnel and route-specific details at the bottom. At the top of the funnel, we'll start out with the big picture, or what forecasters call the synoptic overview. This includes surface features such as the location and movement of high and low pressure systems, fronts, and associated areas of precipitation and clouds. You'll find this kind of synoptic overview within the PROG chart collection, which now provides forecasts from six hours out to seven days in the future issued by meteorologists at the Weather Prediction Center. Often the timing of your proposed round-robin flight is flexible, so we've also placed outlooks and other long-term forecasts near the top to help you decide which day may provide the best opportunity to minimize your exposure to adverse weather. When your flight is more than a day or two in advance, it's a good idea to focus on precipitation since adverse weather elements such as turbulence, icing, and IFR conditions tends to hang in and around areas of precipitation. To that end, we now provide guidance like the 6-hour Quantitative Precipitation Forecast, or QPF, and the 12-hour Probability of Precipitation, or POP, forecast, both issued by meteorologists at the Weather Prediction Center. While these precipitation forecasts do not specifically distinguish between convective and non-convective precipitation, we can't forget about the threat of thunderstorms, especially during the warm season. So for planning purposes, we've added convective outlooks issued by forecasters at the Storm Prediction Center. These outlooks define a broad brush convective overview, which will help identify the daily categorical risk of dangerous thunderstorms over the next eight days. But if you're looking for a more refined long-term convective forecast, we also provide the extended convective forecast product. This is an automated thunderstorm forecast but has a higher temporal resolution than the outlooks provided by the Storm Prediction Center. While it doesn't identify the severe thunderstorm risk, it is designed to pinpoint the convective threat for a six-hour time period that extends out to a generous three days in the future. Even if your proposed route has little or no chance to see precipitation or thunderstorms, it could still face a threat of widespread IFR conditions. The area and terminal forecasts can be helpful, but they fall short when you're trying to determine the expected ceiling and visibility for your return trip a couple of days later. To help customers plan beyond the effective time of the area or terminal forecasts, we've added a graphical model output statistics or MOS forecast from the GFS model. A close cousin to the MOS forecast added in ForeFlight Mobile 6.8 this provides a graphical depiction of a MOS categorical forecast for ceiling and visibility contoured over the United States. It's a perfect way to find the best window of opportunity over the next three days. As you work your way to the bottom of the funnel, this will highlight finer route-specific details for icing, turbulence, and last but not least, pilot weather reports. This includes in route advisories to include a complete selection of graphical airmets and sigmets separated into their own collections. We've also significantly expanded the icing collections. This starts with the lowest freezing level forecast collection that now provides an hourly forecast out to 18 hours. The current icing product, or SIP, has been expanded to include all of the available altitudes from 1,000 feet MSL 
to Flight Level 290 for the Probability, Severity, and Mast Severity analyses. Lastly, we've also added a complete set of altitudes for the 2, 3, and 6 hour icing severity forecast called the Forecast Icing Product, or FIP. Like anything new, it'll take some time for most customers to realize the full potential from all the expanded imagery. Understandably, many of the new charts are unfamiliar and you'll see strange abbreviations such as QPF, CCFP, and NDFD, just to name a few. To that end, we'll be publishing more guidance on our blog and video channel. From all of us here at ForeFlight, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you can find support on our website or via email at team at